the, the number of votes kind of speaks for itself. So over 20,000 votes um, over the 12 week period. We're, we're delighted with the, the results, phenomenal success. And just the work that the community groups have done to, to get involved, to be successful, to get as many votes as they can. It was ultimately those who worked hardest and spread, spread the joy, so to speak, helped, you know, those, those were the ones at the end who, who got the, the, the top prizes. But for us as well, it was fantastic that those groups who were involved, so some of the other groups who, who didn't finish in the top three, also were rewarded for their efforts as well. We're going to have to take sit down, um, the campaign only finished last week, so sit down, um, feedback from groups, feedback from the various people involved, because it took a lot of time and effort. But I would really like to see if we can do something similar to this again in the future. So again, we'll just have to do an, a, a review and evaluation to understand how we can, if we do something like this, how we hopefully make it bigger and better, how we potentially make it easier for more people to be involved and if there's different ways we can potentially tweak it. I mean, it's the first time we've done any type of activity like this, so there are always be learnings and it's, you know, how we can build upon that and hopefully if we do something like this in the future, make it even more successful. It's been really exciting. I think a couple things. One, what's been great is the feedback and the follow-up from the community groups. So we involved a number of different community groups across the entire UK. Um, both Bangladeshi and African community groups and I think we've had really great results. Um, I have my favorites because I've, what I've really enjoyed is the stories behind the community groups and what they've done and some of the stories are absolutely amazing. All of them are super deserving and so I'm, I'm thrilled that we've been able to be part of that story so that's been a fantastic outcome. I would hope we do something like that again um, and I'm, but I'm sure we've got other ideas that we might want to play with. What they are at this point, I don't know. This journey in you know, the Taliban campaign was a bit challenging, but we actually involved our existing, you know, the women group and also our local community and um, definitely we try to actually persuade them how good it is you know the rice when they one bag they bought and tested it is good then they actually again they bought and also word of mouth is another good thing you know so uh, family actually when one person bought then you know they talk about it and then they tell their family and uh, all my colleagues and all my staff members they also did hard work. They also um, involved with the campaign. That's why we became actually successful. Our actually idea is at the moment we are only running, you know, two job um, uh, employment surgery. We will actually use it and do four days employment surgery. So we can actually help the unemployed women who can actually get uh, office skill and learn about the policy and procedure and know about the, what is the job involved and that easy for them to get into actually job. We have got a website, it is a BWERC, www.bwerc.org.uk. My name is Debo Adewumi. I'm the Secretary General of the Nigerian Community in World Town Forest. And I'm the Chairman. For the very first time, we could single out Tolly Boy as um, a business organization that have taken that step that is completely beyond the community expectation to reach out you know, to the charity that works you know, in the community. This is the very first time that I'm seeing a profit-making organization going out of their way to help local charities in their outreach work you know, into the, in the community. We are very, very grateful for what Tolibo has done, and we believe that this will be a challenge for all other businesses that are out there that they've got a vital role to play. Government has got its own role to play, which we know from time has been subsiding. The kind of grants and funds that we get from government on a yearly basis are being shrinked all out. So, for an organization like Tolibo to have stepped out to sort of like try to, you know, give us a little bit of push for us to continue doing the good work that we are doing, we are very, very grateful. And we really, really want to commend Tolly Boy, the management at Westminster Food. They've done a very, very great and fantastic thing. And 
kudos to them. In the last couple of months, precisely if I go back to March 2017, we all know that in the city of London, the rate at which youth, youth crime have sort of spiraled, it was completely beyond everybody's expectation. Even the mayor of London found it very, very challenging in way and manner of, you know, um, sh sh bringing in, rain down the kind of surge, the surge that we saw, you know, in youth crime. And we are focused, because one of the things that we do in the community is that every summer, we try to withdraw the kids from the street by engaging them in summer activities, things that will keep their brain going, things that will lure them away from going into crime, but using that energy that they've got into productivity. So you're looking at sports events, we organize football matches during the summer months when everybody is out of school, because being in school is one thing, but the moment they're out of school, you are thinking about how do we get these kids away from the street? There's so much pressure on the street that is luring them. Gangs want these kids to come and join them in order to sort of like, you know, show them how to commit crime in the street. But we don't want our children to get into crime. We don't want our children to be walking about on the street. So every summer we organize events that keeps these kids busy. And we're not just organizing any other event. We organize events that will actually give them potential jobs in the future. Take for instance, in terms of football, when we organize football activities, we also go to clubs that they can send in poachers to come and see the kind of skills that these kids have got. And from there, some of our children have got signed up into this uh, soccer youth scheme with Tottenham, with Chelsea, and also Arsenal. All in East, uh, except from Chelsea, but Arsenal and Tottenham, they are in East London, as you know. So we are in contact with them, and they do take some of our kids, you know, on their youth sponsorship scheme. So in that way, we've been helping our youth, we've been, you know, encouraging them not to go into crime, but to use their energy positively. As a charity, we have, our people have been eating rice. When we heard that we can eat rice and get something from it, God of mercy. Yeah, we just went on, we went on and uh, participated. <laughs> and fortunately, we won today. The money is not for us, it's for the community. Yes. Because as it happens now, we have already booked training for the children from now till next year. So this money will serve very well because. Some of them are childish, they haven't got skills. We are trying as much, in addition to soccer, we do the literacy, yeah. which is teaching them, teaching them how to read and write and act so that they, they will never lack in their life. Because if you know how to read and write, you can always keep yourself busy. Instead of playing and wasting your time, you can always scribble and learn something. The money given to us is a blessing. In addition to the little we got from the local authority, we shall now beam it up and use it to make people know that uh, in addition to charity, that Tolly Boy also helped us. And this is the way charity and communities live together. We, are, we very much appreciate the efforts and we shall uh, tell it to heaven that uh, Tolly Boy had done something, gone out of the way from business to charity. That's very good. It's been an amazing journey to participate in the competition, Tollyboy competition. We are delighted and very thrilled, excited to have owned this competition. And we have won £10,000 actually, uh, competing in another uh, uh, 19 organizations across the country. It's really amazing. Our volunteers, our members, our people have participated. We got all volunteers involved actually. It's a big community. Initially, we are quite reluctant uh, whether should we apply or not. Uh, okay, let's try. So, it's, again, we have proved that if communities together, they can do anything, you know. So, I assure that, 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 that we have uh, owned the competition and we have got £10,000. That money will be well spent uh, towards our healthy living project. That project initially is presently funded by Kata Hamlet Council, but that's not enough money. But it, it will be a kind of match funding. We'll use that to reduce elderly people isolation. They will come. Uh, to the center, uh, socialize each other, will participate in uh, health awareness sessions like Alzheimer's, uh, cancer awareness, diabetic, this kind of thing, and they will participate in the exercise session. We also run as part of the session, complementary therapy session, uh, tea coffee session, study circle, so all part of this project. 
So we are delighted actually uh, to be part of this campaign and have won this competition. Uh, thanks to Levoy, uh, we wish to Levoy all the best. And definitely we will participate in the competition future. Credit goes to our staff and our volunteers and the, and the entire committee and the users uh, who I have to say got really excited. Having personally just won an election in the council, I know how hard it is, but the excitement of the volunteers and the users to really win this was, uh, you know, uh, fantastic. But also, I think credit to Tollyboy staff who helped us and who um, kind of like encouraged us along the way. So it was a joint effort, but we're really delighted to have won. Uh, and this ten thousand pound is going to go a long way to keep our project going and strengthen and really support the very vulnerable people that we've been, you know, struggling to support because the need is out there.